Hello there. Welcome to a late addition to the Throw Me Thursday circuit. Hello there. I hope you're having a great day. We're going to be diving in to our top five of the undead. And being that we've all been basically locked in a cage for two months, we can all kind of uh, see eye to eye with these characters. I feel like we can all identify. Coming in at number five. Oh! No honorable mentions, Drew. No honorable mentions. Coming in at number five. Dracula. 1931. Bella Lugosi has to make the list. Uh, should be higher, but uh, great performance. Great film. Love it. Learn it, live it, love it. Uh, check out the Philip Glass scored version. Oh, it's incredible. Great, great, great movie. Uh, and great... Great character choice. Great, great job by me. Great job. Let me pat myself on the back. <laughs> Number five, great job. Number four, oh, Dracula again. But from Francis Ford Coppola's version. So we're rocking some Gary Oldman. Just if you look up Gary Oldman on Google Images, make sure you remember the R. Uh, coming in at number three. Oh, that's right. The lead zombie from Land of the Dead. I'm not really sure what the name of the character is. They don't really refer to it in the movie. But he's basically Bub. Uh, and he's learning to use the gun. But I really like him. And I really feel like he gives a performance to it. Like you feel like, you know what? This might be a brainless zombie. But in a way, we're all brainless zombies that need to learn. And once we're made aware of it, we can start learning. So great job. You did it. Congratulations. Number three. Coming in. And number two, oh, uh, you know what, Drew, I agree on one of your character choices here, uh, but I think you picked the wrong movie. Yes, that's right, Jason. Jason comes back from being dead in part six, not part seven. Let sleeping Jason lie. That's right, hashtag Friday the 13th ends after part six and then comes back for uh, Jason X, right? We got to enjoy the really, really bad one. <laughs> Um, no, Drew, you, and everybody knows this, I am not a huge fan of Part 7, never really, never really connected with me, the Carrie versus Jason thing always just made me kind of like, and I always felt like the movie didn't really have a story, like it kind of meets the bare minimum requirements, but uh, Part 6 is where it's at, Drew, Part 6, man, I, I, I don't get it, man, Tom Matthews is crazy good in that. Got a great Jason in there. It's part six, man. Part six, Jason. Number one, though, we do agree. Bub has to be number one. I mean, come on. Just a great character all around. And this is where that seed is planted for the Land of the Dead character. Although, Bub, Bub nails it. Like, you know, you can really see this zombie really trying hard to learn. And, and it's really interesting. I think there's a little bit of connection we all can have there, you know. There's an awakening, and you see that maybe these zombies can start coming to life again. Maybe George Romero is saying something. Well, I hope you guys had a great Friday. I hope you had a great Thursday. I hope it was very thrilling, uh, and I hope you enjoyed Thrill Me Thursday-ish.